When it comes to the pride of San Antonio sports, one guy who knows it well is Texas Sports Radio's Bobby Stotzenberger. Hector sat down with Bobby to learn his power of sport. Not just saying it's just because you're here, but I don't know if there's anyone else that we've talked to throughout the series that's as interesting to chat with about the power of sport as maybe you are, because we can talk to you about it from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. From the Bobby Stotzenberger perspective first, no one locally in high school sports does net, and really throughout South Texas that keeps up and follows high school sports the way you do. So to have made your living in sport yeah. and, and covering these teams and providing coverage for these teams, what say you about the power of sport and what it's done for your life? Well, I mean, obviously for me, you mentioned it, I make a living doing it. I was an athlete myself. I always knew that I wanted to have something uh, close to being involved in sports, you know, as, a, as an athlete. But once I was done, I was either going to coach or maybe get into the media. And I, I took the media route and it's been real successful. And but yeah, the, I mean, it's, you know, we've had so many special stories over the years to cover, you know, and uh, one of my favorites uh, and just the power of sports and what it can do to a community was uh, the Lanier Vokes when they went to the, the state tournament in the early 2000s. And, Twice, huh? Yeah, 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 200 years in a row. Yeah. And they, they dyed the hair blonde <laughs> and they had the entire west side of San Antonio juiced up about uh, what they were doing. And they, they beat Chris Bosch and Dallas Lincoln in the state semifinals. Nobody saw that one coming. Right. And then they played Kendrick Perkins and Beaumont Ozen in the state championship game. But I remember after that semifinal game. I was uh, calling the game on the radio and KEDA 1540. It was over on Flores Street. And I just remember after Lanier won the game, you know, I said the pride of the West Side, the Lanier Vokes are going to the state championship. And they only allowed about 3,000 or so Lanier fans in at the time, which they maxed out. And and this was on a Thursday night. And, and, and the radio station said that people were driving around the radio station, blowing their horns, just going crazy <laughs> about it. And, I mean, just, just the, the way that a high school team can just galvanize the right. community and everybody has something to rally around. I think that's just such a unique thing at the high school level. <laughs> the power of sport, you, you talked about it at length with, with Lanier. What it's done from the other side now and the kids that you've been able to cover, mm -hmm. I imagine sport, not only in terms of the success they've enjoyed on the field, but what it's done for them, the athletes you've covered, Going forward in their own lives, I imagine that's something that, that you've had a, taken a lot of pride in seeing how that's developed in those athletes. Yeah, even some guys that, uh, uh, that had, were athletes when I started the business, you know, those are the guys that are the ADs, the coaches, uh, business members in the community, um, you know, and some of them have even come and, and done games and worked for me. So, I mean, I, it's gone full circle. In 23 years, you get to see him grow up. I mean, one that stands out to me, Scott Linoff. He was the, uh, he was the quarterback for Clemens when I'm calling the games back in the early years of my business and on to the steel coach and then the athletic director out there. And you just see him growing up. And now he's, you know, a very successful grown man. And so it's, it's been fun to watch. Uh, and, and players get drafted uh, uh, into the whether in NFL or NBA, I mean, I had a chance to see Jordan Clarkson and, and Andre Robertson, you know, right. not only play in high school basketball, I used to run a youth league, and they ran my clocks when they were at Wagner High School. I paid them <laughs> seven bucks an hour, and they ran the clocks there at Kitty Hawk Middle School for my little youth basketball games, and now they're both, you know, very successful NBA players. So it's it's a real privilege to to watch the entire process and and – you know, just the families and the relationships. I mean, I think that to me, the power of sport is is the relationships that you build. And I think any athlete that you talk to uh, over the course of time, they'll tell you the most important thing that they got out of it was the friendships and the relationships that last a lifetime. And I still have some of my closest friends to this very day or guys that I played high school football with at Judson High School back in the 80s. And to this day, they're still some of my closest friends. And I can imagine that that's pretty much the same for, for almost any high school athlete. Told you. Several different angles from which Bobby Sotzenberg can speak to the power of sport. We appreciate it, Bobby. Thank you so much. Well, for more information about the power of sport, you can visit sanantoniosports.org.